What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to the show once again. We're gonna show you a one flag map today called Chronomali. I think that's how it's called. You have to ask Civilian on how it's pronounced, and he made most of it, but you know, I put a few things here and there. I made that, 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 this, and that. Mostly that. Also that, that, that. And of course, I made that. No, I, I'm kidding. I really don't know who painted that. But Civilian made basically everything on this map. I think I put a rock here and there. So we're going to start it out at the attacker spawn, which is right here. You have the choice to run through the canyon, like this guy is doing, and find your way to the base, which contains the flag. And that is your main objective in this map. So the flag spawns right over there, and that little, uh, little behind that rock in that little, ha, ah, what's it called, niche, niche, that's the word, or you can go on the grav lift, which sends you all the way over here to this rock platform, which contains a focus rifle, which you can use to your advantage and just kill all the enemies, I guess that would be the main goal, or you could spawn in that little blue tunnel, which is inside the mountain, uh, there's, you don't really get anything there, the only thing that you get is to be a little bit closer to the battlefield, which is somewhat of an advantage, now, each team does get a vehicle, the attackers are given a ghost, and the defenders are given a warthog. So, make sure you use them however you want them to be used, attacking or defending. I suggest uh, defending mostly with warthog, because if the attackers get a hold of that warthog, they can just drive it around and somehow get their flagmen into the passenger seat, and they could just drive their way all the way home, which is a pretty easy way to get the flag to your base. That's a little tip, so defend it well. Also defend your base well right here, because there are multiple, multiple entrances to this base up here on the catwalk, so you can walk your way to the flag area. Back there is a grav lift that will take you there. And nobody really seems to defend back there, so defenders, make sure you keep an eye out over there. Now, um, the crane on this map, I really, really like the crane on this map. It's made by Civilian. I think he made it from scratch, which makes it pretty cool. He made an awesome platform right there. I, th I think that's really spectacular. It also serves as a line of sight blocker, which is uh, very good, very, very good. And all in all, it looks pretty good. So, to gameplay, um... I was away for four days, so I did very, very bad in this game. I think I got a total of seven kills in four rounds, so uh, I did pretty bad. But right here I got my first kill, so I got a little bit excited, you know, punching them and celebrating and cheering. So I'm going to make my way to the back entrance, which I said nobody defends really, so that's where you want to go as if you're an attacker. And that's where you want to go if you're a defender, so uh, make sure you go there. Now gameplay in general, it's... I think it's good. It's not easy, and it's not hard, so I think it works out very, very uh, good. So there's really no problem with that. There's no frame rate. There's no nothing. It's it's just a really spectacular map. I'm not sure what the theme is, but you'll have to ask Civilian on what exactly the theme was. So this is the map. Um, forget the name already, but go ahead and download it. It will be in the description description along with the game type which is one flag so it's not too hard to get um i'm the guy and i'm signing out